The NAACP is blasting the Flagler County Sheriff's Office over allegations of racial discrimination against its employees. Channel 9's Mike Springer questioned the Sheriff's Office about the complaint today and how they plan to address those big concerns. There's no lawsuit filed just yet, but the NAACP says Jennifer Harris's firing is an example of a continued practice of discrimination that's been going on here at the Sheriff's Office for years. Something the Sheriff's Office, though, denies. This is a copy of the 10-page complaint the Flagler NAACP filed against the Flagler Sheriff's Office, accusing it of discrimination against employees based on their race. The NAACP filed the complaint after Jennifer Harris was terminated from her position as a victim advocate in the department back in June. Harris was a new hire and still under her probationary period at the time. Miss Harris was more than qualified for the job that she was hired for. She was let go without um, correct process. The NAACP says the problems with the sheriff's office go beyond just this firing. According to the NAACP, there are 106 sworn deputies on the force, but only five black deputies on patrol. There's only one black sergeant on patrol, and none of the 19 sworn deputies promoted in May were black. He's limited by law and by contract of who he can promote. So if we don't have the applicants uh, that are people of color within those numbers, there's nothing he can really do about it. The sheriff's office would not discuss the specifics of Harris's firing with me. However, a spokesman says the sheriff took over in January and since then has hired 32 new employees, three of which were black. Census data shows 11% of Flagler County is black. Even though the sheriff might say that he inherited some of these issues, he's been in place long enough to have corrected a lot of these issues. The NAACP says it also wants to meet with the sheriff to talk to him about ways to recruit and hire more minorities. That's something the sheriff's office says it's willing to do. Reporting in Flagler County, Mike Springer, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.